it's been a minute, YouTube. How is everyone doing? I personally have been trying, maybe slightly failing, to take it easier this year. I feel like this has been a trend I've seen with a lot of other YouTubers. Um, I've been trying to slow down on work, enjoy life, figure out who I am, but I miss this. So I thought I'd ease back into this whole YouTube thing with a sketchbook painting video inspired by my recent road trip through Utah and Arizona's national parks. This is my little travel sketchbook that I'll bring with me, although I don't really use it out in the wild as often as I'd like to. And before we start painting, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives with thousands of classes taught by professional artists, designers, and filmmakers. Maybe you've dabbled in a Skillshare video in the past, I have been a fan of Skillshare for years and years, so odds are you might have tried it before, but you never advanced further. This year, take your learning to the next level with Learning Paths. These are curated sequential class collections made for you to master a specific skill. A few Learning Paths that might interest you are your creative business, Build It, Brand It, Launch It, and Discover the Art and Science of Drawing for you beginner artists out there. These paths contain classes from a variety of teachers that will really help you take your skills from beginner to advanced. So if any of this seems interesting to you, the first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. So happy learning in 2024. We're starting to paint now. A question I get often is how I find inspiration for my artwork. And the main answer is usually just straight from my life, whether that's whether that's from traveling, a book I read, or something my friend said to me, whatever. All of those are little ingredients for my art soup, and all of that can be ingredients for your art soup. It doesn't have to be like anything super wild, you know? And background on the trip, my friend Nancy and I took a two-week trip in January to look at and walk on rocks, basically. <laughs> we started in Las Vegas, we rented a car, and then we headed off. We hit Zion National Park, Bryce Canyon, Arches, Canyonlands, Monument Valley, and then the Grand Canyon. I think I'm forgetting a couple of parks. I'm sorry, they are equally all as beautiful as the other. Then we stayed in Sedona, Arizona for a bit before heading back to Las Vegas, where at the end of the trip, humble brag here, we saw the beautiful, the amazing Matthew Craig Gubler from Criminal Minds, <laughs> which, yeah, look at this beautiful sunset. In the beginning of this video, you saw me listing ideas on what to draw in my sketchbook. You could see from this trip alone, I had so many ideas listed. You could do this with anything really. It doesn't have to be a fancy vacation or anything. You could just go on a walk, list what you saw on the walk and then sketchbook from there. Or you could either write out what you did that day and just draw three things that you did. Keeping a sketchbook doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be profound. It could just be simple. Anyway. I chose my favorite memory of the trip, which was the Bryce Canyon Peekaboo Loop Trail. It was absolutely gorgeous in the snow. We had spikes for our shoes because some parts can be steep and icy. If you don't enjoy crowds and you're okay with the cold, I really recommend all these national parks in the winter time, as long as you are prepared. This hike took about five hours total. And what was really fun about Bryce Canyon they have this game where you need to find three medallions on the little information signs that are scattered around the trails. And if you take a selfie in front of three of them and then show the rangers, they'll give you a free sticker. That is so fun. 
who doesn't love a free sticker? And of course, to this page, I had to add a raven because they are everywhere. I had such a great time on this trip, especially because Nancy isn't a friend I get to see often. She's currently in Guatemala for the next year or so, so I won't see her for a while. But yeah, it was so fun. I felt very refreshed, although I was also working on one of my biggest commercial projects during this trip, which was a little bit stressful. That's why I have no footage of the Arizona portion of it. All my work time the past January, February had been spent on that project. That's why I've been a little bit MIA from the internet. So yeah, I'm planning a new era of YouTube. I'm trying to move in silence, but I also love sharing things with you all. So it's just finding a balance between those two. So please, please, please comment what you'd like to see from me going forward. I'm trying to make a lot more time for personal work this year. I've broken out a lot of books on illustration and writing, wink wink, that I want to get into. Basically, the theme of this year will be personal growth and development, I think. I very much feel like I'm in a transition phase right now, being 24. I heard that every 12 years, you kind of go through like a little transition in your life. And I definitely feel that. And I think that will be reflected in my art and the content I put out. And yeah, I think there will be a little bit of a change because I sense a change in myself. Oh yeah, I've, I've been feeling very distant from social media lately and I would really, really love, love, love to know what you have all been up to. Did you set any goals at the beginning of the year? How are they holding up? Please tell me in the comments. Please, please, please. Um, yeah. I think I'm gonna go now. Enjoy the last few minutes of this painting video. It was really lovely catching up with you all, and I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Goodbye. Thank mm -hmm. you.